Sanders among the candidates campaigning in Nevada today, leading supporters in Las Vegas to nearby polling places. This with speculation swirling around Mike Bloomberg and a possible running mate. Website Drugs Report says Bloomberg is considering Hillary Clinton as a running mate after polling showed they would be a formidable pair. In a statement provided to Fox News, Bloomberg's communication director did not exactly uh, refute that, but said we are focused on the primary and the debate, not VP speculation. That is Fox's Ellison Barber. Hillary Clinton saying would she run as vice president? Probably no. America's listening to Fox News. In the Coco News Center, I'm told that a move never seen before here in California. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement is PD. The San Diego County Sheriff's Department, as part of a fight over California sanctuary state laws, those laws limit local police agencies' ability to cooperate with ICE detainer requests for undocumented immigrant jail inmates. In a statement, ICE officials say they've issued four subpoenas seeking information about four undocumented Mexican immigrant inmates. San Diego Police Department says officers will take part in a bicycle and pedestrian safety enforcement operation on Sunday. Gas up a half cent a gallon, $3.56. Kogel's updated San Diego weather. 60s and 70s with sunshine. Right now, downtown it is 66 degrees. I'm Phil Farrar. Stay connected, stay informed. On San Diego's breaking news station, News Radio 600 Kogel. From your always sunny San Diego Honda Dealers Traffic Center, the one problem, the drive from San Clemente into San Diego, it is just a parking lot. From San Clemente into Oceanside, and more slow traffic down the South 5. It's an hour and seven minutes, San Clemente down at Del Mar. This is sponsored by the Cosmopolitan Hotel and Restaurant in Old Town. Old Town's Cosmopolitan Hotel and Restaurant now offers afternoon tea in its restored 1870s era Victorian setting. Enjoy a bit of old world sophistication this weekend in the Grand Sala at the Cosmopolitan. Details and reservations at OldTownCosmopolitan.com. I'm Mark Zegan, Kogo's next real time traffic update is at 416. Discover a better way to shop for a new Lexus without enjoyment at Lexus Escondido. Enjoy a free lunch or dinner at Ventana Wine and Dine and get a free car wash with appraisal. No purchase necessary. Schedule your auto enjoyment experience today at LexusEscondido.com. Hi, I'm Brian Scudamore from 1-800-GOD-JUNK. You only brought two of them? These two can do anything. Are you saying those online reviews are real? Point at something you wish would disappear, ma'am. Well, I'd like to see that gone. Those online reviews are real. What are you doing now? I'm sweeping up the spot where it was. How did you get here so fast? We were on your street headed your way when you called. All you have to do is point. Call 1-800-GOD-JUNK or visit 1-800-GOD-JUNK.COM. From iHeartRadio, number one for podcasts, Family Secrets. Family Secrets. It turns out that just about everyone has them, which accounts for the incredible outpouring of community and sharing of these stories that's happening as a result of my podcast, Family Secrets. I hope you'll join us for some incredible conversations about family, identity, and what happens to both when the secrets that have been kept from us finally come to light. Family Secrets, tomorrow night at 6 on News Radio 600 Coco. For more information about contests on this station, go to kogo.com slash rules. Own investment real estate, moneytalkradio.com. Today's show is provided for entertainment and general information purposes. Opinions expressed are those of the presenter only. We make no promises or guarantees of investment performance. Online Trading Academy is not a broker-dealer, a certified financial planner, or a registered investment advisor. Enjoy the show. Welcome to Trading and Investing with Ryan Cook and Larry Jacobson. Trading? Ask yourself, am I getting results from my trading that I'd like to get now? Investing? That's not just your life. It's something that you pass on to your children, pass on to your friends, and their kids. Education. It's about educating you for life, not just fundamentals. Trading and Investing. Now, here are your hosts, Ryan and Larry. Welcome to the show. If you're a first-time listener, then we are pleased to meet you. My name is Ryan Cook, and I have with me today is my great friend over here sitting across the aisle with those dreamy eyes. I don't know if anybody said this to you yet this week, but if not, I just want to make sure. Happy Valentine's Day, buddy. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to you as well. That is the beautiful voice of Gregory Thonis. Rhymes with bonus joining me in the studio today, and it is a this weekend is just full of love, right? It's the season of love. We've got Valentine's Day. We're just sending it into the past, and one of the best parts about Valentine's Day, Day is 
the, the, the next, like, holiday is St. Patrick's Day, and that's just like, you know, <laughs> blow off the top, that's just a lot of fun. I, I did that in Chicago a few years ago, and saw the Green River and everything. Oh, pretty crazy. Chicago and, and St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> incredible. I've been there. It's pretty awesome. I don't remember much, but I was there. Yeah, we got the Instagrams to prove it, um, and to remind us of it. No, well, so awesome, awesome, awesome. We've got Gregory in here in the studio with us. We're going to have a great show today. We've had a, uh, had a lot of fun things going on, and one of the interesting things that, uh, that Gregory was doing just a little while ago, and, and maybe some of our listeners as well, is there was a big money show down in Orlando, Florida. Down in Orlando, down in Cruise, cruise Ship Paradise, right? The, uh, the second home of Mickey and Minnie. They have a few homes now. They're doing quite well. Um, but what were some of the things you were hearing out there? What are some of the concerns? What are some of the questions, I guess, is a great way of just kind of kicking off the show. What are people thinking? What are people feeling about the markets right now? You know, there was, I think, several thousand, I think up to four or yeah, five four thousand, thousand people yeah. coming there. And they, we were actually right as you came into the into the, uh, into the the exhibitor hall. We were right there. And we did a whole bunch of uh, sessions. In fact, you know, the, uh, the uh, actually the free uh, introductory workshop we do? Yeah. We actually held one of those. And it was packed. I think we had uh, 120 people in nice. one of them, which is a great session right there. And then and multiple sessions, we just filled the room. So, uh, yeah, they actually, it was interesting. A lot of questions, uh, really, about a couple things. First of all, uh, people wanted to know, like, what kind of income strategies do we do we actually teach here? Uh, what about wealth growth strategies? And then a lot of people right now, especially with the market, to these all-time highs again and again and again, wealth protection strategies. So all those three, I think, were the main ones. And then a lot of interest in our uh, in our proprietary trading software. Oh, yeah, click. Click. Yeah, I heard there was a lot of demand for that. And, uh, one of the things you brought up was wealth protection strategies, and I was on a uh, on a call this morning with uh, with some friends of mine down in Atlanta, and one of the things they were talking about was was how much complacency is out there and how dangerous that can be, and how, how excited they were actually to hear people say those same type of things is that they were really looking, you know, to learn how to preserve them well. That kind of we have that sense of the calm before the storm, and uh, one of the the common you know, themes that you can see before every kind of meltdown in the markets is they always come from the top. But uh, what are some of the things that people can do if they are in that complacent state and they want to say, you know, be more proactive with their uh, risk management and kind of protection side of things? I don't think they need to. I mean, really, the market's been up for 11 years, or our 11th year up. I think it's going to keep going and going. Yeah. They'll never come down to the moon, Frankie. But, but, you know, in all seriousness, there are people that actually think that way and really believe that, you know what, this is great. We're going to have, you know, a Keep, keep going on with the same political uh, system we have right now, same economy, everything's on the roll. We're going to have at least another four or five more years of this. And as you know, for 120 years, the market's faltered in bull market, bear market, bull market, bear market. 